Hey y'all, today we have a real treat for y'all. Look at this beautiful chicken. So Michael's actually gonna be taking the lead on this video in a little bit. We're gonna actually slow smoke, or I don't know what even you wanna call it. We're gonna say slow roasted rotisserie chicken. That's what we're gonna say. We're gonna call it smoked rotisserie chicken. There you go. That's what we're gonna call it, smoked rotisserie chicken. But y'all, I gotta show y'all something. So this little bird, look at this. Can y'all see this? Oh, it's hot. Oh my word. Look, I mean, it just pulls apart, y'all, look. I can't wait for y'all to see this video today. Y'all come on in the kitchen, we're gonna make this chicken. Actually today, come outside with us, we're gonna make this chicken. See y'all in a minute. Okay guys, so we're gonna make the rub for our chicken. And me and Michael have just kind of brainstormed. So this is my brainstorm. So we're gonna go two teaspoons of kosher salt, a whole teaspoon of black pepper. And just because I like it, a whole teaspoon of garlic powder. And then we're gonna go half a teaspoon of onion, a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. That's to, it's okay if it's a little much, it's fine. We're going to go a half a teaspoon of chili powder. Oh, y'all might sneeze. A half a teaspoon of white pepper and about a half a teaspoon of rosemary. Y'all, that really did make me sneeze. I had to cut the camera off so I could sneeze. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put all of these in this. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, it's fine. Um, I'm not trying to be fancy. I just like using this. I think it's fun. So I'm gonna put all of these um, spices down in here. And this is why I like using these little disposable plates. So you can do this. And then you're just gonna take this little thing and just kind of smush them all together. So are you gonna hear the dogs because they're outside? They might start barking. And we're just gonna kinda get all this mixed up. So I'm gonna get the chicken rinsed and patted dry and then I'm gonna season it up and I'll show you what it looks like. One last little thing before we season it up. It's always a good idea to taste this to make sure it's good. So we're gonna, see, I just got a little bit on my finger. Oh y'all, oh that's good. It's got a little bit of spice in it from the chili powder and the smoked paprika. Ooh, y'all, that's good. All right, so I'm gonna get our chicken washed up and, uh, and rinsed and patted dry, and then we'll move on. Okay, so here we got our birds, and I've got two. They, I've got a big one and a little one. So we're just gonna cook them both on the rotisserie this time. So I got Michael. Michael's gonna put my there olive oil. <laughs> Michael's gonna put my olive oil on our birds. Yeah, just, yeah, just hit me with it, just a little bit. Not me, the bird. There we go. Tempting. I know, right? And you're just gonna rub your bird with all the olive oil -y goodness. Now, put a little bit on the baby bird. Not baby bird. Y'all, it's just a smaller bird, it's fine. Do, 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 do. Oh Lord, now Michael's gonna sing. That was the extent of it. It's really not a baby. And then now he's got our seasoning blend that we made. Yo, it is good. It smells good. All right, dude. Hit a little bit on the bird. Well, they can't see that one. Hit this one first. We'll do this big guy over here, and y'all can see what we're doing. And then we'll season the other one in a minute. You don't have to go real heavy. But you do want to coat everything. But you do want to coat everything. And I, y'all, I'm gonna tell you what, you don't have to wear gloves to do this, but I hate touching raw chicken. So go somewhere and get you some gloves because. Harbor yeah. Freight is a really good place to pick up really Harbor good Freight gloves. is. All right, put a little bit on the underside. On the belly, I don't know. I, this That's is not ball. anatomy chicken. All right, so we're gonna rub this side and get everything all coated. Spread his arms out. <laughs> all 
All right. Instead of spread eagle, it's spread chicken. Now, here's the trick. See this? This is the cavity. We're going to put some seasoning in here, too. That way, everything is coated the way it's supposed to be. And all the meat gets coated. Oh, yeah. Hit it with just a little bit more in there, babe. There, we got it. There we go. See, now we got coat on there in there, too. Okay, so now we're going to season up this other chicken. And we're going to let them sit. I'm going to cover them. And we're going to put them in the refrigerator overnight tonight and let them sit. Probably to, put me just a little bit more seasoning right there. Probably till 9 or 10 in the morning. And then we're going to put them on the rotisserie outside. So we will see y'all in the morning and we'll cook us up some chicken. And we're outside. We're going to fire the grill up and get the rotisserie ready to put the chicken on in just a minute. It's a beautiful day to do this. Absolutely. Michael's manning the grill today. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get this light lit up and then I'll show you the chicken when we put it on there. Okay, y'all, so I just got our chicken out of the fridge. Look how good that looks. Yum. So I'm going to take this outside to the grill with Michael, and we'll get it on the grill. Okay, guys, so we're outside. Michael's going to get our bird trussed up, and we just realized we only have one set of these forks. See the fork? And you see how big this bird is? It's a little on the big it's side. It's a little big, so we're actually only going to cook the biggest one right now. Um, we're going to do the other one probably exactly the same way, but we'll have to do the little one by itself because the big one's just too big for the grill. Okay, so Michael's going to truss this bird up. Now, before I say anything else, y'all, my trussing abilities are subpar at best, so... It'll be fine. Don't, don't make fun of me too bad. He does good. No, I don't. Yes, he does. <laughs> Get over here where you can see what he's so doing. So typically what I do is I'll just wrap it around one of the legs like that. And then I'll pull it in as tight as I can, and then I'll wrap it around the other leg. Okay? Again, this is not pretty, but it's going to be functional. You just want it to stay on the, on the fork thing without falling off. So nope. it doesn't have to be presentation worthy. It just has right. to function. You don't want these legs to flop around too bad because if they're going to flop around, what's going to happen, especially with the rotisserie, is it's just going to kind of get off balance. And it's going to not cook properly. Nothing worse than a floppy leg. Yeah, nothing worse <laughs> than a floppy leg or a I'm floppy sorry. chicken. We don't want a floppy chicken. Nope. So again, like I said, my trussing abilities are not the best, but it's going to be functional. I gotta show y'all this fire too. It's it's so pretty so far. And it's just about ready, but it smells so good already. All right, so there's that. And it's a little windy out here, so I'm sorry for the breeze. I can't do anything about that. All right, so I usually will try to take this underneath the wing right here and just let that kind of act just like a holder. So I'll go around one more time so that it'll stay good in place. And as you can see, the bird's also a little on the slick side. Mm. So it's being difficult. I meant to tell y'all too, you can, when I, we seasoned the cavity with our seasoning we made yesterday, you can totally put like chopped up herbs, a uh, half an onion, um, some lemons, whatever you want to in that cavity. We just truthfully didn't have any of that stuff, so we just seasoned it and it's fine. It'll be good. It could be better. It, but it, yeah, it could be better. But, you know, hey, for what we're getting ready to do and with it being smoked and everything, too many flavors and it will just kind of get lost it really does. so now this is done now one of the other things let's go back over here to the fire one of the other things is the way that i have this set up this is going to be indirect heating so what i'm going to do is i have the charcoal right here on the bottom and i also have some wood chips and then i'm going to pour this on on top of the charcoal and by doing that it's a slow burn and it's going to not flare up real fast cook the outside of the chicken really fast but the inside of the chicken will be raw so by putting the coals on top right here it lets the it lets the whole chicken sort of cook a lot slower so it's going to cook at about 300 degrees for 
probably about four hours. So this is how I do it. Just come in, and then I just start spreading them out. If some of them get out, that's okay. Whoa, whoa. And then from the other side, go in. You just let it sit right there on top. Mm -hmm. There we go. So be careful with this now. Make sure that you put it out of the way because it will burn everything. Yep. Y'all see that? Look at that. I wish I would smell it. it I mean, I know it's just charcoal, but y'all, it smells so good. Okay, so I know there's quite a bit of smoke, but I'm going to show y'all. So we put a drip pan in the bottom, and in that drip pan, we've got just a little bit of water with some lemon juice in it. Maybe... I don't know, cup, cup and a half, about maybe a two cup cups. And, about a cup and a half. You yeah, see. probably. The reason why you want to do this is because as it heats up, it's going to start to steam. And whenever it steams, it's also going to have the flavor of the juice and everything else in there. So if you did apple juice, you can even do ginger ale because of the ginger flavor. So we're just doing lemon juice to kind of give it a little bit more of that citrus flavor. And also because the steam itself will help make it a little juicier and just keep it from getting a little too crusty. All right, so we have the bird done up. And he's put the forks on either side and that's just to keep it on the spit and to keep it from falling off. So the way that I do this, pretty simple setup. And sorry, smoke got all in my eyes right? and now I can't really see all that well. Bless. So just turn it on and that's what it's gonna do. Y'all stop. Y'all stop, look at that. What you want to make sure she's so pretty is you want to get the thermostat out of the sunlight because if you get it in the sunlight that'll get a little bit of a weird false reading so just put the top on and you want the temperature to be between 250 and 350 degrees anything above that and it's going to be cooking too fast so just adjust everything with your smoke settings so right now i'm just going to close it up real good just a little bit of smoke and then there we go we're just going to let it sit and go. So we'll come back and check on this in a couple of hours and see what it looks like. And uh, we'll see y'all in a few minutes. Okay, y'all want a sneak peek of this yummy chicken? It's not quite done yet, but it's been going for a couple of hours, so we'll give you a little sneak peek. Okay, babe, go. Oh, <gasps> y'all stop. Oh, my goodness. Can y'all see that? Oh, that looks good. Don't she look so pretty? Oh, that looks really good. Look, I can do it. Mm-mm. Mm. Y'all, that's good. But she's not quite done all the way in the middle. We'll take her temperature in a little bit, another couple hours, and we'll stick a probe in her and make sure she's where she needs to be. Just wanted to give you a sneak peek. Yeah, we'll do the whole alien thing on her. Probe. <laughs> we'll probe her. Okay, are y'all ready for the unveiling of our chicken? We're fixing to take her temperature. Go, babe. Angels oh cry my at night. goodness, y'all stop. Okay. And y'all can see that the liquid down there is actually boiling. So that's letting off steam and it's also just trying to help out the moisture content take of the bird. Take temperature. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna definitely make sure that we take the temperature on some of the thicker parts. And make sure you don't wanna hit the bone. So there Cause it it'll kind of give you a weird read we can't really see 200 it. 203 and all you're looking for for chicken is i think 165 to 175 something like that to 180 yeah 180 maybe I, I can't remember 209 right there but we're way above 200 so she's ready so all i've got is just a bacon dish over here and we're just going to set her down in a y'all look can, i don't know if y'all can see this can you see this that's like separate like it's a like it's going to fall Oh, stop. That's good. Okay, so I'm just going to set her in that bacon dish. I'm going to take her in the house, cover her up, let her rest for, I don't know, probably an hour or so um, before we shred her up. So, okay, see y'all in a minute. Just want to give y'all a little better view now that we're inside of how pretty this chicken is. Look at that. You want to see something funny too? Look, sitting right here at my feet. Hey, Mabs. What you want, honey? 
Mabes is ready for chicken. Okay, we'll have chicken in a little bit. Oh, and there's Tiny. Hey, Tiny. <laughs> they know, y'all, they do. Okay, y'all, yeah. so this is how we do, well, this is actually how we let the chicken rest. Just kind of make a little bit of a tenfold tent for it. And then we just let it sleep for a little while. By doing this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna let all that moisture kind of get back into the meat because if you cut into it right now, what's gonna happen is you'll just have really dry chicken. And nobody likes dry chicken. You know. All right? Cool. Okay. Okay, guys, so I've got, the chicken's been resting for about an hour. <laughs> yes, we ate a bite of skin. I can't help it. Okay, so first you have to, I mean, we had to taste it to make sure it was good, right? Quality control. So you gotta take this twine off because you know you don't wanna eat the twine. So we gotta take that off. So this ended up cooking about four or four and a half hours. And y'all, I'm gonna watch. Y'all, this is so tender, look at that. The bone literally just pulls out. And yes, this is done. This is just where it was smoked. It is very much done. And I mean, you can just pull the bones right out. Look at that. And it just shreds. Can y'all see that? It just shreds so easy. Even, look, even the wings pull. Look at that, the wing bone just pulled right out. Look at that. This is just so tender. I'm leaving that hole because those are my favorite and I love a wing. Let's see if we can get this one off by itself. There we go. And that little drumette is just gonna pull apart. Oh yeah. We'll just pull that apart and I'll leave that part whole and I'll eat that later. So watch this. Even this part, even the white meat just pulls apart just like that. So I'm gonna finish shredding this chicken up and then uh, we'll get Michael's parents are going to come up and eat with us tonight. And I think, I don't know if we're going to make sandwiches out of this. I don't know what we're going to do. We'll come up with something. And the little bird is actually on the rotisserie right now. So we couldn't get them on there together, but that's okay. Um, so I'm going to finish shredding this chicken up. And, uh, okay, sorry, door slam. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I'm going to finish shredding this chicken up. Sorry and we'll eat in a little bit and i'll give y'all a rundown as to what we think i mean it's good i've had this before but yeah okay we'll see y'all in a little bit and we'll eat some chicken okay did y'all really think i was going to wait till supper to really sneak a peek to sneak a taste no i don't think so ready yum mm-mm mm-mm Y'all, yeah. that is so tender and so juicy. Oh, that is so good. I can't wait for everybody else to taste it. That is so good. Okay, so we'll get everything shredded up and we'll get everybody here and we'll eat shortly. All right, I'm going to tell you one more thing. You see all this carcass and bones and stuff that's left in here? I'm going to actually put this in a bag and put this in my freezer. And the next time that I need to make chicken stock, yep, we're going to use all of this goodness and make chicken stock. And y'all, I'm going to tell you what, a smoked chicken makes a different flavor of chicken stock that you've never ever had. And it is delicious. I did that the last time we made this and that chicken stock was out of this world. So that's what I'm gonna do with this. Both of the carcasses that we're gonna get, I'm gonna just put them in a zip top. Well, I'll roll them in full, put them in a zip top freezer um, bag and throw them in the freezer for the next time I wanna make chicken stock. So, okay, that's where we are. But look at all this chicken, y'all. Look at that. Yum, I can't wait to eat tonight. Okay, see y'all in a bit. Hey y'all, so I got Michael here. Y'all gonna have to just pardon this hairdo. Don't pay attention to his either. <laughs> yeah, my, my hair is wind blown right now. We, it, we've been it's outside. blown totally off. We've been outside with the chicken and the wind is whatever. So something I gotta show y'all. If you've never really done anything like with smoking on smoking your food, if you look right here, it's kind of hard to tell but there's actually a little bit of a pink ring going around on the meat. 
that's okay. That means that that's actually the smoke that's caused that to happen. It's a little bit of a chemical reaction that happens with the meat. It's and this, nothing to worry about. And this really dark pink is just the dark meat is all that is from the thigh and the leg. And it's just more, it just absorbs mo more of the smoke. So yeah, that's really all it is. Ching, ching. ching, ching. Ready? I hate to tell him I've already tasted this. Y'all know that. <laughs> oh, that is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is really good. Let me know what you think. Oh, yeah, for sure. Make sure you like mm, and subscribe. Actually. I got several more videos coming, y'all, and they are, I, I don't want to spoil it, but they're really good. So y'all need to like and subscribe so you can come be with us in our crazy Just be house. part of the family. Yeah, and y'all can be part of the family. Pull up a chair and be part of our family. We love y'all, and I will see y'all next time, and we'll make something else yummy. Bye, y'all.